Hello, Nintendo vs Sega here, and unfortunately I have to make one more of these videos. Number one is because my camera is not working. Now I am talking like this because I don't know why. Anyway, hi guys, Nintendo vs Sega here with another video for you guys, and I would like just to say sorry. This is probably going to be the last video where you see a freaking cat, except for Shadow Fridays. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I really want to continue it, but I know I haven't been keeping up in the past two weeks, or three, I don't know. So, I'm going to try my best to keep up with that, but if it doesn't work, I'm sorry, guys. So, let's continue on. The, the cat will stay in place. Focus. Focus your eyes. Right. So, um, I'd just like to say, Pokemon Y2 has been kind of like a success. I've had at least ten views for a video, which is great. Well, not at least, like, at least... 8 views for video, <laughs> still great. Um, so, I would just like to say thank you guys for supporting the series so much, and basically, a lot of my videos have been getting a lot of views lately, and I just want to say thank you. Uh, uh, just then, one of my videos hit over 100 views, um, over, um, 150 views, so thank you for that. And I would just like to say, I am sorry. I am going to have to stop Pokemon White too, not stop it, but put it on hold for a little bit. Not because I want to. Because, well, I want to start a new series of Pokemon things that, that you guys might have actually enjoyed. Might, might have actually enjoyed. Wow. I insulted my own series. But, I got inspiration from many people, and I have decided to make a Nuzlocke. Yeah. But, this Nuzlocke is going to be called the Starter Lock because I couldn't come up with a better name. Everything's so cheesy. Anyway, so the way this Nuzlocke will work. First of all, what is a Nuzlocke? Okay, I'll start off with what is a Nuzlocke before I get into the specifics on what do I do in this Nuzlocke. A Nuzlocke is a Pokemon game in which, well, any Pokemon game in which you want to play it in challenge mode all the time. What this means is that when a, a Pokemon faints once, they're considered dead, you must put them away in the PC or release them. Number two, these are rules, by the way. You can only catch one Pokemon per route, and I am playing with Dupes Claws. The Dupes Claws limit is 10. Dupes Claws allows you to get Pokemon which you have not caught yet. So, like I said, one per route, like on route one in Platinum, I think that's the route. Uh, they're like Star Staravia, and on route two, they're Staravia. I could get a Bidoof, so you could think of it that way. But it's very hard to say. But, of course, if I go over ten, then I don't get an encounter for that. Now, those are the basic foundation rules. Now, let's move on. Oh yeah, one more rule. It is okay to stop at the Elite Four. The Elite Four is where I'm going to stop. Now with the starter lock, it's a very hard to explain Nuzlocke that I thought of. Okay, so, you know how you get one star in the beginning of each okay. game? Wait one second. My mom's asking me to go, just one second. Uh, I need to explain something. She's been, she's like talking in the spotlight. In almost all of my videos, she's been talking. Anyway, so back to the point. Where was I? Oh yeah, start off. So the way this will work is I'll start off the game with three Pokemon instead of one. I'll start with all three starters, but they have to be from the same region. What this means is that I cannot pick the three. And the region will be Johto since I am doing Heart Gold! Yay! Now, since I am doing Heart Gold, what this means I have to choose a Cyndaquil. Because I like Cyndaquil. Who doesn't like Cyndaquil? But come on! But that would mean I also need to use a Chikorita and a Torodile. So that sucks. Well, Torodile isn't bad, just Chikorita. Anyway, so. Really? <laughs> My mom just dropped shoes. Anyway. 
If a starter dies, you must replace it with another starter. And if all five generations of starters are taken out, then that means no starter for you, and you lose the starter lock. This is why you have to keep them alive, and they have to be the level on which they hatch. So basically, if I lose a starter in Heart Gold, um, Soul Silver, in the Elite Four, I have to start with a level one Pokemon. Unless I have rare candies. That's really sad. Um, also, one of the starters must be at the same level. So what this means is that all the starters are knocked out, and you get your next thing. One of them has to be the same level as your highest starter, just to make it a bit more fair. You thought that you could choose the next three? Well, you're wrong. You have to use one level 100 Pokemon. Shiny to be precise. Precise, yeah. Try to be precise if you have a shiny. If you don't, understand. But only if you have a shiny. You could do that. But I know some people don't can't get a shiny. But the reason is because if the level 100 Pokemon does die, you lost a shiny. Wow. And you'll feel so bad about yourself. Well, you could keep it in your box and trade it over later, but if you decide to release it, then it's over. Why would you even try? Now, this would mean I have to show you my training. And if any Pokemon dies, I have to start recording from the thing it dies at. I know it's going to be a challenge, but we're going to get through it, and we're going to play through this. And I would just like to say thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, press like, and leave a comment down below if you're doing the Nuzlocke too. I would, like, I would love to play along with you guys, and maybe you guys can talk about it. Uh, I don't, what are your rules and, and ideas? So basically, final final rules. Starters. They all, you have to have at least two stars on your team. You have five generations to pick from, so basically you have to... So basically, oh no. so oh yeah, I have to leave now for one second. It'll take one minute to finish the rules. My mom is so antsy to get out. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll I'll come out in a minute. Okay. You said, but I'll be there. Okay. This video is automatically done uh, in a minute. So basically, I'll do this quick. The rules: you must have three starters on your team at all times, all from the same region, or one of them from a wait. You must have three starters on your team at all times. Number one, if if all starters from five regions have passed away or died, wait, same thing, um, like passed away from poison or something, never mind. So then you must release them, not release them, but put them in a box, and then you lose the, then you lose the Nuzlocke itself. Then you could choose two Pokemon that you really want to keep on your team, and you could get those two. The final rule and the most important, you must have one level 100 Pokemon and you cannot use it till you beat the 8th gym. Even if it's your last Pokemon, you have to fight with it. But you will lose the Nuzlocke. That's the main point. It's like to keep the Kindle firing. Wow, that's a horrible reference. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys at the Starter Lock and Y2 will have to go on a pause. But see you guys next time. Bye!